Welcome to Hima Tutorials. In today's video, I am going to teach most important 4 marks questions in probability. So, without further delay, let's start the session. Coming to the given question. Suppose A and B are independent events with P of A equal to 0 0.2 and P of B equal to 0 0.5. Then compute P of A intersection B, P of A unit B, P of B by A and P of A by B. Now coming to the solution. What they asked us to find P of A intersection B, P of A unit B and P of B by A and P of A by B. Okay. Now find P of A intersection B. If A and B are independent events, then P of A intersection B is given by P of A into P of B. Okay, what is P of A? 0 0.2 and what is P of B? 0 0.5. That means 0 0.10 is P of A intersection B. Okay, now see P of A union B. Okay, what is the formula to find P of A union B? P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. Okay. P of A is given in the question that is 0 0.2 and P of B is 0 0.5. And we already find P of A intersection B when A and B are independent events. What we get? 0 0.10. So substitute here. Okay. 0 0.7 minus 0 0.10. That means 0 0.60. Okay. Now coming to next one. P of B by A. Okay. P of B by A means we know P of B intersection A by P of A. If A and B are independent events, then P of B intersection A is written as P of B into P of A by P of A. Okay. This P of A, this P of A gets cancelled. That means we get P of B. What is P of B given in the question? 0 0.5. Okay, that means P of B by A is 0 0.5. Okay, now coming to next one, P of A by B, which is given by P of A intersection B by P of B. Okay, as we already know, if A and B are independent events, then this P of A intersection B is written as P of A into P of B by P of B. Okay. This P of B, this P of B gets cancelled and this is equal to P of A. And what is the value of P of A given in the question? 0 0.2. That means P of A by B is 0 0.2. Okay. I hope it is clear. Please make a note of it. Coming to the next question. The probability for a contractor to get road contract is 2 by 3 and to get a building contract is 5 by 9. The probability to get at least one contract is 4 by 5. Then find the probability that he gets both the contracts. Okay. Coming to the solution. Let A be the event to get road contract. That means P of A is equal to 2 by 3. Okay. Let B be the event to get building contract. Okay. That means P of B is equal to 5 by 9. In the given question they given the probability to get at least one contract is 4 by 5. That means P of A union B is equal to 4 by 5. Okay. We need to find what probability that he gets both the contracts. That means we need to find P of A intersection B. Okay. We have the formula P of A union B equal to P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. Okay, what is P of A union B? 4 by 5. P of A is what? 
टू बाई थ्री एंड पी ऑफ बी इज फाइव बाई नाइन वी नीड टू फाइंड पी ऑफ ए इंटरसेक्शन नाउ वी गेट पी ऑफ ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इज इक्वल टू टू बाई थ्री प्लस फाइव बाई नाइन माइनस फोर बाई फाइव ओके नाउ टेक एल सी एम विच इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी फाइव ओके थ्री फिफ्टीन जा फोर्टी फाइव फिफ्टीन टू जा थर्टी प्लस नाइन फाइव जा फोर्टी फाइव 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 जा ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस फाइव नाइन जा फोर्टी फाइव नाइन फोर जा थर्टी सिक्स ओके थर्टी प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव इज फिफ्टी फाइव फिफ्टी फाइव माइनस थर्टी सिक्स दैट इज नाइनटीन बाई फोर्टी फाइव दैट मीन्स द प्रॉबिलिटी दैट ही गेट्स बोथ द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इज नाइनटीन बाई फोर्टी फाइव ओके आई होप इट इज क्लियर प्लीज मेक ए नोट ऑफ इट Coming to the next question, in a committee of twenty-five members, each member is proficient either in mathematics or in statistics or in both. If nineteen of these are proficient in mathematics and sixteen in statistics, then find the probability that person selected is proficient in both. Okay. Coming to the solution, see, in a committee there are total twenty-five members. Okay. total number of committee members that means n of s is equal to 25 okay let a be the event that member is proficient in maths okay that means n of a is equal to what 19 okay in the question it is mentioned that 19 of these are proficient in maths okay see now what is p of a p of a equal to n of a by n of s okay that means 19 by 25 okay let b be the event that member is proficient in statistics okay that means n of b is equal to 16 see now p of b is equal to n of b by n of s that means 16 by 25 okay in the given question it is mentioned that All members are either proficient in mathematics or statistics or both. Okay, that means P of A union B is equal to P of S is equal to n of S by n of S. That means twenty five by twenty five is equal to one. That means we get P of A union B is one. Okay, what they ask us to find find the probability that person selected is proficient in both that means they asked us to find p of a intersection b already we know the formula p of a union b equal to p of a plus p of b minus p of a intersection b okay what is p of a union b 1 what is p of a 19 by 25 and what is p of b 16 by 25 and we need to find p of a intersection b okay p of a intersection b is equal to 19 by 25 plus 16 by 25 minus 1 if we take lcm what we will get 25 that means 19 plus 16 minus 25 is equal to 10 by 25 5 do ja 5 5 ja that means 2 by 5 P of a intersection B is two by five. Okay, that means the probability that person selected is proficient in both is two by five. Okay, I hope it is clear. Please make a note of it. Coming to the next question, two persons A and B rolling a die on the condition that person who gets three will win the game. If A starts the game, then find probabilities of A and B respectively to win the game.
coming to the solution let p be the probability of getting 3 that means p is equal to 1 by 6 ok and let q be probability of not getting 3 that means q is equal to 1 minus 1 by 6 that is 5 by 6 in the given question it is mentioned that a starts the game ok since a starts the game a may win in first trial third trial or fifth trial and so on ok probability of winning a is given by p of a equal to p plus q into q into p plus q into q into q into p plus so on ok now substitute the values of p and q then we get p of a is equal to 1 by 6 plus 5 by 6 whole square into 1 by 6 plus 5 by 6 whole power 4 into 1 by 6 plus so on. Okay. See this is in geometric progression. That means a is equal to 1 by 6 and r is equal to t2 by t1. That is 5 by 6 whole square into 1 by 6 by 1 by 6. 1 by 6, 1 by 6 get cancelled. That means R is 5 by 6 whole square. That means 25 by 36. Okay. See this is an infinite GP. Sum of infinite terms is given by the formula A by 1 minus R. Okay. Here A is 1 by 6 and R is 25 by 36. Okay. 1 by 6 by LCM is 36. Here 36 minus 25. 1 by 6 into 36 by 11. Okay. This is 6 six are. That means P of A is what? 6 by 11. Okay. We get P of A as 6 by 11. Now we need to find the probability of B. P of B is given by 1 minus P of A. Okay. 1 minus 6 by 11. The LCM is 11. We get 11 minus 6 is equal to 5 by 11. Okay, that means the probability of B to win the game is 5 by 11. Okay, I hope it is clear. Please make a note of it. That's for the session. In the next class, we will discuss some more important 4 marks question in this probability. Okay, if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel Hima Tutorials. Thank you.